I'm at 4975 North 58th Street. And we are looking at the front part of the house. First thing I obviously just noticed, and of course you could see it just because of the wear and tear from all the water that came through. The sump pump is broken in the center, so we just need to make sure that we repair that and probably just use a better uh, extension. We are definitely looking at doing some grading here. This is wood siding, so it would have to be scraped and redone. Wood trim. The windows look like they're in good shape and they look newer. We have our gas meter. Furnace was done right. A little wavy in the fence, but it's not bad. We could probably just do a little tiny repair on the fence, possibly, or maybe not even needed. Our wells are fine. Uh, I definitely want to have more grading on this side and put some covers on those window wells. The roof would need to be replaced. Uh, I could see from here that there's a second layer of shingles. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I take that back. That's one layer of shingles. I'm confirming it right now. Okay. This is one layer of shingles, but it was done it was done inappropriately. As long as we could repair those areas that are bad and probably replace the vents because the vents are older, uh, we can lay over this, so we could do a lay layover on this roof, uh, and then obviously do the right flashing, especially around that chimney. Just do, you know, obviously uh, upgrade this and make it look nice. Um, so we'll be, I'd have a roof vent on it. So we could uh, definitely do a layover on this. The soffit and fascia, we will need to scrape and paint it. The gutters look like they're in pretty good shape from this side. Uh, let's go check out the other side. And the, we're going to use the back door, so I'm just going to stop here and just do a nice look around the neighborhood. We have kids in this neighborhood. House looks like it's been uh, sort of remodeled next door. Okay. And so that is the neighborhood. Uh, the front looks pretty decent and maybe a little bit of landscaping, not much. But of course, obviously some work here. It's starting to wear down in this area, you can see with the concrete. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I don't think anything there's going to be any code violations, but if there are, I would say that we could just cut this section out and replace this if it needs to happen. But besides that, I think everything else looks good. You do have cracks off of this newer concrete, so this concrete wasn't poured well with these cracks that are starting to be created. Our gutters, uh, when painting, we should paint and fix up, the, or no, touch up these gutters and make them look nicer. But definitely a replacement of the roof. This is our garage. In the backyard, looks like we're going to just have to have some landscaping, working on some trees, cutting some stumps out and possibly. We'll see if we have the key for this garage. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. We do have some water setting uh, after a full day of, of uh, rest. There's not many uh, areas in the city that has this, so this looks like that it's going to be, I guess even in the neighbor's yard, um, maybe we could put some uh, dirt back here just for future issues, uh, wear and tear on the garage, of course. Uh, soften and fascia or damage. <laughs> we have, oh, I don't know if you saw that. We have a squirrel that lives inside this garage. <laughs> so we definitely have to close up that hole and uh, repair. There must be some uh, holes in here and some nests. So we do have a squirrel. We, have, we already have a tenant in this, uh, in this part of the uh, house. So we need to make sure that uh, we uh, ask them to leave before uh, we close it up and we repair this. Um, let's see what we have back here. 
we just have some basic repair, nothing severe. A couple holes again, just soften in fascias that we're gonna have to repair. This could be his back door right here. <laughs> that he's coming in and out of. Um, again, painting and stuff. I'm gonna see if I could see if I could see anything in here. Okay, it looks like some debris. It looks fine from here. I don't think see anything severe. Um, it's locked. Some uh, side side uh, repair. I would say at this point, uh, you know, some painting. Nothing looks severe to me at this point with the garage. Um, let's take a step back. We're already doing the garage uh, or the house roof. Let's see if we do our squirrel's roof as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's wearing and tearing. You do have more than one layer here. There's no doubt about that. You're looking at one. one two. You're probably looking at two or three layers here. <laughs> you can uh, you could tear it all out or uh, it's just a garage so you could do what you want to do with it. The more layers that go on it, the weaker you're going to have a structure here and that it's, uh, it, it, is, it will start weakening out your foundation and your framework. Uh, the framework does look a little slopey. It doesn't look so straight. It looks like it's, a, it's tilting a little bit to the right. Um, maybe that could be fixed a little bit or adjusted. Maybe some sistering on this wall once uh, we get inside there and uh, kick our existing tenant out of there and make sure he doesn't make any more of a mess. Uh, we have some window damage back here, so I know that there's some newer windows, but we will have to repair this window. Um, some yard work, painting again, soft, uh, some trim around that window that needs to be repaired, uh, some siding repair. Uh, that's about it for outside. Well, I'll meet you inside.